people like artists, activists, homesteaders, farmers, you want to make a living doing what you do, the way to do it is to work less. Look at this lady. She working? Spoilers. This is a chart from the book Growing Free, coming out in the fall of 2022. It shows two factors that influence the way we make a living. One is whether it's good for us in the planet or bad for us in the planet. And going from left to right, whether we work for it or invest for it. In a lot of cases, both of these are a choice we make. Now, most of us think that investing means the stock market, but pretty much everything invests. If you're alive, you invest. A bird building a nest is investing in its future. When it goes and finds great berries and then craps them out by its hedgerow, by its nest, it's investing in having great fruit in its own ecosystem. It feeds its kids. That's investing in the next generation. Birds invest. We can invest in the same way. Planting a great choice of fruit tree for your own home region, just like that bird did, is also a great investment in the future. What I can tell you as someone who's made a living over the last 15 years helping people develop great livelihoods is that it's not the people who are working hard who make it. It's the people who find ways to not work. And the point here is that we have a choice between the two. We can choose to work or we can choose to invest. Let me give you an example. A lot of farmers I know, they develop their whole business models over planting annuals, then harvesting them and taking them to the farmer's market to sell. That's work. Growing annuals is a bunch of work. They've designed their whole livelihood around work. But the most successful farms I've ever visited invest instead of work. They invest in creating long-term systems like this food forest system I'm sitting in right here that grow a lot of food over a long period of time with very little work and you can just go out and harvest from it. And then instead of taking that food to the farmer's market, you can do other things like you can start a CSA where people can come and pick up the food. You can even do you pick where they come and pick their own food out of the food forest that grows itself without you doing labor. You want to be an artist, you can paint stuff and take it to art fairs and that's work. Or you can invest in long-term relationships with consignment places and with building a customer base and a fan base where they're coming to you to buy your art. Are you an herbalist? You can either work all day making uh, growing herbs and making products for them. Or you can do something like my business where you do a home herbalism program. People actually come to you to make their own herbal preparations, pick them and take them home. You can do the same thing with landscaping. You can either go out and you can work doing landscaping installation for people, or you can help lead them in programs where they design their own landscapes and then implement them themselves. And they're going to be better and happier for it. Like that's my business landscape transformation program. 